Shalom, 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 Yasha Allah. Before we get started with this lesson, let's give the much due all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Baha Shom, Yahweh Shai, Baha Racha, Kuadash, Koloim La, Yahweh, Baha Shom, Yahweh Shai, Baha Racha, Kuadash. Shalom to the Lord's elect. The 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe, which consists of you so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, Latinos, so-called Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners, Hebrew Israelites, who are scattered among all nations, looking like the other nations, speaking their tongues, Shalom to all of you and to the rest of the multitude, the remnant, the other Israelite men, Israelite women, and Israelite children, which also consists of Israelite foreigners. And double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone, and much due respect to you since they are working while laboring in the works. I'm your brother, Manazar Gabar, out here in Pasadena, Texas. Lord willing, this lesson, this response uh, lesson is edifying, playing upon the tables, straight to the point. It's going to be a response to this video uploaded by the Hopeful Elect 3. Subscribe to the Brothers channel if you haven't yet. All right. Subscribe to the Brothers channel. Okay. The brother uploads a lot of videos of what's going on around the world, you know, prosthetic wise. Okay. Um. Let me go back here real quick. I'm gonna let this video play. Um, <laughs> Eve, man. <laughs> Eve reading a letter to Voldemort Putin. <laughs> like, that's going to stop prophecies, man. Eve. Simple Eve, man. Simple Eve, man. There is no peace, saith the Lord Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shai unto the wicked. No peace is coming to the wicked's rulership, the wicked elites, the entire nation of Edom, the Edomites, the sons of the wicked, right? Wicked Israelites, that sinful kingdom, America, for example, right? No peace is coming to this place, man. Only evils, bad times, calamity, destruction, famine, pestilences, wars, okay? And so on. All right, fair use, fair use, fair use. Dear Vladimir Putin, mighty dictator of Russia, I believe I speak for all Americans when I say we don't want no smoke. We were under the impression that the war was coming to an end. We were just as surprised to find out that Ukraine was sending U.S. long-range missiles that us taxpayers pay for into Russia. We had nothing to do with that. I like Russia, and we don't want a war so if you can find it in your heart to spare us regular citizens and not make us pay for the incompetence of our government, I'm sure Joe Biden was sleepwalking again when he authorized this. We have no power. We run nothing. Our own government don't even like us. Yes, you have threatened us with nukes before, but they steady saying that you are bluffing. But for some reason this time, I reached out to you because this feels different. I don't know why they don't listen. Also, can you let Kim Jong-un know that there is no beef so he can keep his people in check because they really, this really isn't their business. Just like Ukraine, isn't ours, but we keep helping them against my better judgment. We, the people, 
want peace in the world and in the United States. So please keep that in mind. Yours truly, a concerned U.S. citizen who does not want to become pink mist. Thank you. I hope to hear from you soon. This scripture speak for itself, man. Simple Eve over here. <laughs> Simple fucking Eve, man. Oh man. All right, um, let's see. I got a few scriptures that I written down to bring out for this lesson to the spirit. And again, Lord willing is edifying. Let's get uh, Isaiah. Lisa Khan. What the fuck? Um, Isaiah 55 verse 11. So this is the book of Isaiah. Right? Chapter 55 verse 11. In the KJV. So shall my word. Right? These prophecies, for an example. World War Three, Russia be on the forefront. Attacking America and you Americans. So shall my word. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Right? Literally by the prophets. The prophets. Who's on the seats to, to this day. Prophesying. Going into end time prophecies. In the name of Yahweh Bashmi Shai, Right? That's the Lord speaking through his men, his prophets. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, right? Empty handed, empty, right? But it shall accomplish, right? It shall execute, fulfill. But it shall accomplish that which I please and and it shall prosper it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it the word of the Lord will come to pass so for an example today's lesson well in, in this current uh this current lesson World War three America being being destroyed at Sodom and Gomorrah no peace is coming to the wicked, especially to the sinful kingdom here in America. All right. No amount of letters <laughs> you can read and write to put in to stop Eve. <laughs> you like a fool, really. Stop. Um, let's see. Romans 3. This is the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 3 and verse 4. Verse 3. For what is something I believe? Shall their, shall their unbelief make the fate of God, the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh, without effect? Right? So, would someone's non belief in prophecies cause prophecies to not be fulfilled? No, right? Obviously not, right? Verse 4. Yahweh, Bashem Yahushar, forbid. He forbid, right? Yeah. Let Yahweh, Bashem Yahushar, be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, thou, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged, right? So. You don't have to believe in prophecies, right? The Lord doesn't care if mankind doesn't believe in prophecies, okay? Which is obviously written in the Holy Bible that these wacky tacky Christians, so-called spiritual religious people claim to believe in, right? The Lord don't care if you don't believe. 
he's he's going to make his words prosper in everything he sends it to. OK, at this appointed time. OK, and it will fulfill his purpose. All right. The Lord don't care if you don't believe. OK. All right. His words will these prophecies, these words will come to life and they're already coming to life. If you got the spirit to see the eyes to see, to discern, interpret. Um, let's see. Let's get that. Isaiah. 48, 22. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 48, verse 22. There is no peace. There is no peace, saith the Lord. Yahawa. The true name of the God in the Bible. Yahawa. And his only begotten son. Yahweh Shai, right? There is no peace, saith the Lord Yahweh, unto the wicked. Ain't no peace coming to you, wicked Israelites that don't want to repent, especially those that's supposed to be in the truth, are supposed to know better. All the way down to your average two thirds, you non believing Israelites. And then, of course, the wicked themselves, the Edomites, is the self proclaimed white people. The Caucasians, you Americans, because y'all too prideful. So many great miseries is coming upon y'all, especially here in America, the home of the, of the proud, right? <laughs> Isaiah 48 and 22, there is no peace, saith the Lord, Yahweh. Bashem, Yahweh Shai, on to the wicked. All right. Isaiah 57, 21. Isaiah chapter 57, verse 21. There is no peace, saith my power, right? Our power, the power that we worship in, which is the one and only true powers that really exist. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Allah Nawa, right? Our God, right? Yahweh Bashum Yahweh Shai. There is no peace, save my power, Yahweh Bashum Yahweh Shai, to the wicked. No, there's no no peace to the wicked, because our power says so. Our power, yeah, yeah, our power. The ones that always been around and and will always be around. That will always exist. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5. Verse 6. Verse 5. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And evil and only evil, like bad times, like famine, war. World War Three, Civil War, Race Wars, the Our Temptation, the Karagma, the MOTB, the Mark of the Beast, Lockdowns, Martial Law, All Hell Breaking Loose, Women Getting Ravished, Raped Out Here, Destroyed, Trotting Down to Minor Streets, Children As Well Too Being Destroyed, Elderly Being Destroyed, The Love of Many Just Rising Completely Cold. Strange judgments, deaths out here. The plague of darkness, right? The strange apparitions, phantom spirits. The manifestation of principalities, right? Angels and demons, right? Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. And evil and only evil, behold, has come. All right, let's not forget about the earthquakes in diverse places, right? So-called natural disasters, epidemics, pandemics, a spread of contagious pestilences. Verse 6, an end is come, the end is come. Yeah, the end has come for this eon, the world of the wicked, Esau's world, 
right? And end is come. The end is come. A watch it for thee. Behold what is come. All right, man. Only bad times come to this place, man. And then since Eve over here, <laughs> reading, writing letters and shit. <laughs> Let me get this right quick, man. Um, let's see. Isaiah 13 and 17. Babylon will fall to the Medes. The book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 17. Behold, I will write the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Behold, I will stare up, right? Uh, set in motion, right? Instigate, rouse up. I will stir up the Mies against them. The Mies, your so-called Russians. Against them? Against who? Babylon. You Americans. Behold, I will stir up the Mies against them, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Right? The Mies, the Russia, Russians. The Lord will put it in the mind of the Russians to what? To attack America, regardless of gold and silver, because of prophecies, because what? The Lord's words shall not return unto him void. It shall prosper in everything we sent, we sent it to, man. For an example, put it in the minds of these Russians to attack America. All right. There's no amount of letters you can write and read to Russia to not attack to the enemies of America to not attack America. All right. Verse uh, verse 18. Their bowls, their bowls also shall dash the young men to pieces. And they shall have no pity, no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eye shall not spare children. So the bowls, right? Their bowls is talking about the ICBM missiles. ICBM missiles. ICBM missiles. Right? <laughs> these things right here, these missiles. AKA known as arrows, okay? These missiles, okay? All right, let's go back here real quick. Intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, are nuclear armed missiles with a range of more than 3,400 miles, 5,500 kilometers, Let's see, they are designed to deliver nuclear weapons, but can also carry chemical, biological, or conventional weapons. Damn. <laughs> Woo, hot damn. ICBMs are a critical part of the American nuclear arsenal and are considered a strategic Strategic, strategic defensive weapon. Okay, so you get the point, right? Um, their bowls, right? Russia's missiles, right? <laughs> their eyes shall not spare no children, right? The Russian troops that will fight against America will not pity children. They're not going to care if, a woman, if an American woman is pregnant. They're not going to care if she just gave birth. If the child is three months old, five months old, three years old, eight years old, ten years old. They're not going to care, man. All right. That's the world we're coming into. When all hell really break loose out here, man. Verse 19. And Babylon. The glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, 
beauty of the Chaldees excellency is America shall be as when Yahweh Bashmel Shai overthrew Saddam and I Mara I think I Mara that's the okay Sodom and Gomorrah right Strong's H5467 Saddam from an unused root meaning to scorch burnt in other words volcanic or bit you bit you mean you so like I'm pronouncing that wrong but the point is I want to get to is that Sodom means burning that's what happened to Sodom it was burned okay Yahweh Shai burned that place and Gomorrah Strong's H6017 I Mora submersion so the Lord is making a comparison on how he's going to do onto America as he did to Sodom, Saddam, and Gomorrah, Imara. He's going to submerge America in fire. The lake of fire, right? Thermonuclear destruction. Okay. All right. Let's see. Verse 20. It shall never be inhabited. That's how bad the destruction is going to be upon America. That it's never going to be able to be inhabited. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there. Right? For example, Ishmael. Elam, right, the so-called uh, Arabs, so-called Indians, right? They they dwell, they live in such climate, like a desert-like climate. So that, that's how bad America's going to be, that not even the Arabians, right? Ishmael, Elam is going to be able to live here. That's how bad this place is going to be, all right? Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent here, neither shall the shepherd make their fold there, all right? This is what's coming to America. Let me get that GT right quick. Um, and then we end up with that. Low one. 13. Um, 20. Yeah. So this is the good news translation for Isaiah chapter 13, verses 17 to 20. Verse 17. The Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai says, I am staring up the Medes, the Russians, to attack Babylon, the Americans, to attack America, you Americans. They, the Russian troops, right? They care nothing for silver and are not tempted by gold. With their bows and arrows, their ICBMs, missiles. They will kill the young men. They will show no mercy to babies and take no pity on children. Babylon is the most beautiful kingdom of all. It is the pride of its people. But I, the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, will overthrow. Babylon, America, as I did Sodom, Saddam, and Gomorrah, Imara. No one will ever live there again in America. No wandering Arab will ever pitch a tent there. And no shepherd will ever pasture a flock there. So... The title of the video speaks loud and clear. Hopefully the lesson was edifying plain upon was edifying and plain upon the tables to the house of mourning to the house of faith. There is no peace, saith the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, onto the wicked. Lord willing, the lesson was edifying, plain upon the tables. I'm gonna close out by giving much to do all phrases, honor, 
in glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Baharachak with us, Kolo Imla, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Baharachak with us. All right, Shalom. On to the next one, low woman.